Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have a card for you that is all about fall and the Thanksgiving season, but it is very simple, very fast, and yet I think very striking. So let's just get started. Okay, here is my card and it says simply thankful for all the good things and then I don't know if you can see it I'll move it in the light here it has embossed leaves on it and uh, I'm using two stamp sets country home and there's the simply thankful for all the good things I love that it's nice and simple and yet it's pretty substantial size and then this stamp set which is loyal leaves and I'm using this leaf and this leaf and uh, so that's what I'm using and I'm using gold silver and copper embossing powder for all of my stamping and on the inside I have a simple leaf and let me show you the pieces that we need to make this card I have a very vanilla card a standard size eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter then I have two pieces of copper that measure four and an eighth by five and three eighths and two pieces of very vanilla that measure four by five and a quarter and then I have a piece of scrap vanilla here for my sentiment now this is a lot of copper paper to use and you'll see that I only am using it to get this tiny little border. Now a lot of people would use one of our uh, stitched say rectangle dies and cut out the center of this piece to save and use that piece of copper for something else and you certainly can do that. Um, I wanted mine to have a pretty stiff backing on it so I went ahead and left mine in place but it is clearly your choice okay so we're going to do all of our stamping on these three pieces right here on the very vanilla pieces and um, the stamp sets that I'm using are uh, the leaves are red rubber and the sentiment is a um, photopolymer so I'm going to do that sentiment first so I can move this uh, pierce mat out of the way and I've got my embossing buddy here and I'm just going to cover the whole of this card because powder just kind of has a tendency to get everywhere um, and get that good and treated and then move that out of the way and then I have my Versamark here and I'm going to ink up my sentiment and I'm going to stamp it right down here in this corner you'll see that this end and this end are straight and actually the top is fairly straight too and the only thing I really fussy cut out was this few pieces of the word on this side just because I thought it would look more interesting than having um, uh, something that was just completely square so if I'm careful and I tuck it into this corner two of those cuts are already made for me so I'm going to put my stamp in here and I used my um, copper embossing powder for this image so here we go and I'll bring in my copper powder and my spoon and I'm just going to get this wording covered with the copper powder and there we've got a nice image 
and I think that's going to be close enough to the edge. It's going to be close. I cut this one a little bit closer than that, but we can use our trimmer to uh, take down those edges if we need to. So I'll quiet the video while I uh, heat set this sentiment. Okay, there we go. I've got that down. And I do want to trim that off very close to the words in this case. So I'm going to set this in my trimmer here and just take a bit off of that edge. Well, maybe a bit more than that. I really want this cut quite close to the edge of the words. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to also trim this along this edge to just take off a sliver on that edge as well. And there we go. Now, in order to make this work, what I did was I fussy cut around this edge and I cut straight up the S and then I curved in a little bit to start coming here around my letters. And I left a pretty good margin around those letters and um, I wanted to just give this a little feel of a custom cut without having to do a lot of fussy cutting. And so I came around my T and my F here and coming near the Y and then I went straight up and then I think we can use the trimmer again to come across the top of this to get just the look I'm after. And I want this to be, again, fairly close to the letters. Let's see how that does. All right, so there we've got three nice squared off sides. A little bit here and then just a little bit of fussy cutting around the top of those letters and that is exactly what I was looking for. All right so that piece is done. Now on to these pieces. The simplest one is the one for the inside and again I'm going to use my embossing buddy here and I've got my um, leaf mounted and I use this leaf on the inside and I really don't need this pierce mat anymore but a little bit of scratch paper underneath isn't going to hurt. Make sure I get plenty of ink on that stamp and then I stamp this leaf so that it's mostly right down in this corner. And there we have our leaf image and back to the copper powder now and you can probably just slide this in and get the coverage I'm looking for and there we have our leaf now I am going to quiet the video again while I heat set my leaf Okay, that piece is now ready to go on one of these pieces of copper and go to the inside of my card. Now on this piece, I am going to uh, heat emboss this leaf several times, these two leaves several times. And what I found worked for me was, first of all, let me get my embossing buddy all over this sheet. 
never worry about too much powder um, from an embossing buddy or any kind of an anti-static tool. Uh, it really does save you in the end from getting stray powder all over everything. So on this one, you'll see that I put nearly a complete leaf right up in this corner. And I'm going to try and make the front of this almost exactly this. Of course, no two will be exactly the same, but I'm going to put this leaf up here. And then I'm going to put one right down here off the page a bit. And then I put one right over here, almost completely, most of it being off the page. See, I need to come down just a hair, right about there. Okay, now I am going to, this one up in the corner is done in the copper powder. So um, I did them purposely away from one another with three different colors of powder so that I would have the chance to um, maybe do all three of these the same time. And I've mostly got all of the stray powder away from that one. So I'll move that out of the way. And then this one over on this side is done in the gold embossing powder. So I have my gold powder here and I'm going to hold this gingerly from the side and give some gold powder on that leaf and use my brush. Looks like I got just a little bit of stray powder a couple places there. All right, very good. And now the last one which is done in silver powder, which I'm going to put right down here in this corner. And I will put my powder on that. Oh, and I didn't get a good image. Let's see if I can fill in any of that. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, good. Just didn't get enough powder on it. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to quiet the video and heat set these three leaves. Okay, so there are my gold, copper, and silver leaves. And now I'm going to come back and use my other leaf, this beautiful long leaf, and put three images of this leaf on the card as well. So I have this beautiful one right in here. which I'm going to set down. And then I have one coming in from the top of this piece here. And then I have one coming up from this edge over here. There we go. All right. So now back to my uh, embossing powder. So this one over in the corner 
is the silver. Let's see which one is the copper. Copper is this one here. So I'm going to put my copper powder over this one in the corner and then I'm going to put my gold powder on this one. It's, you know, it's perfectly fine to do multiple of these and if you're unsure at all then I would say do these one at a time. There's no reason that you have to do more than one at a time. Um, I'm fairly comfortable with it because I've been doing it a long time, but not everybody is. So don't rush yourself and make sure you take the time because if you're going to do this, you want to have it um, be done so that you've got it right. And a little bit of silver powder over in this corner. There we go, and I've got a couple of bits of stray powder, but it's not so bad because I used my um, embossing buddy. Okay, one more time, I'm going to quiet the video and finish this embossing. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? <sighs> These leaves just spoke to me when I saw them in the catalog. <laughs> so um, next we're going to put this card together. So we have our embossing done and we have our sentiment made. So all I really need to do is using my seal to go ahead and mount these cards on the back of this copper piece. All right, there's very little margin on this, so I'm going to be very careful and put this together so that I can see four sides as I'm laying this down. And then that last side should just come together. Very good. All right, now the same thing with this one. And this piece is going to get mounted on this piece of copper. And again, I'm putting it down so I can see this side, this side, this side, and this side. And the rest should take care of itself. There we go. All right. And now we have our card base. And the only thing that's raised on this, I suppose you could... Um, embossed a couple of these and fussy cut them out, although there might be a die with this one, I can't remember, but uh, or fussy cut them out and raise one or two of them. I think that would be lovely as well, but I didn't see the need. This has so much pretty stuff on it that I'm going to go ahead and get my Seal put down on the back side of my copper here and make sure I've got that opening the right way. You watched me do that where I put it on upside down so you learn to check. And again, when I put these in place, I really am looking at four sides. Then you should be able to just drop it in place and then it's all done. Now this one is the next one we're going to put into place and this 
this on the inside of our card. These are going to be kind of fun to send because I get to put whatever message I'd like on the inside. Simply thankful for all the good things and one of the things I'm thankful are some of these lovely, wonderful people I'm sending some of these cards to. <laughs> so there we go. All right, now on this one, we're going to add just a few dimensionals on the back side of this and put that into place. And I thought that mostly out of the way right down here so that some of both of my leaves on this corner okay there we go that is all there is to it 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 has a big impact because of the embossing and yet it was a pretty simple and fast card to put together so that's my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. This is still the month of August, and my August uh, prize is a um, bundle of your choice out of the new mini catalog that goes from August to December. And the only thing you have to do to put yourself in my drawing is put an order of any size on my in my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net, or you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. So again, that's it for me, um, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye! <music>